the clouds in comic show. Welcome back to Cards and Comics. Today I have part three of my uh, submission to PSA. So again, I submitted it in four parts because of the different tiers and services you have to submit based on the value. So this is the value, I think, tier submission. Now this contains a lot of really, really interesting cards. Now I am going to try to... Um, showcase the cards uh in a way that if you're not interested in hockey cards because again i do a lot of upper deck e-pack and i collect hockey if you don't want to see those cards i'll put them at the end but they are cool cards if you really want to look at them but i know not everyone is a hockey card collector so i will put those off at the end um, or try to as best as i can um so i'm going to pull them out and we'll go through them but i think you're going to have a fun time looking at these cards because um, some of these came from actually packs I opened, which is interesting, um, you know, especially considering, you know, uh, some of it is 90s cards. So we'll start with the star of the show from my perspective, because again, it's a card I actually opened up on the channel and got it back today. And it is the, 1998 uh, Bowman's Best King Griffey Jr. Refractor that again I open up on my channel. Uh, you can go to see that video if you want to see me open it. It is numbered oop, 267 out of 400. Um, but it came back at 10. Pretty stoked, pretty excited to see this card. I'm just, yeah, it's very, um, it's so fun. To have everything kind of work out the way you, you know you want it to work out but it, you knowing that it very rarely ever does it very rarely does it ever work out where you open a box of cards from an era you're collecting pull the player you're collecting the most in a rare version that you send to psa and it comes back at 10. so this is just one of those things where it probably may not happen again in my lifetime um, so I just got to really enjoy it while I can, but it's a beautiful card and I needed it for my collection, which is another thing that's really awesome is I didn't have this card. Um, so yeah, just super stoked. It's a great card. Um, love the design. And, um, next up is the super fractor cause that's the, I need that one or the, yeah, the atomic, sorry. Uh, next up is a little bit of a different card and maybe you guys won't recognize what it is. Some people might recognize what it is. Um, it is a 2013 Archives Retail Chase Insert. These cards were super difficult to hit. These all-star um, chase inserts. And I think they were like in um, Target packs, things like that. So I got this in a trade at a card show. Um, it sells pretty well if you just Google what the... Or, you know, look up. It's not Google, but just look up what these sell for. Came back in eight, which the pop, on the, the pop count's very low on the set anyway. So it was cool just to see this card great and eight. Um, I think it's just one of those cards that um, if you're a Bryce Harper or just trying to collect this set, if you're a big archives collector, um, this is just one of those rare cards that you don't see very often. It's kind of obscure, but it is uh, very difficult and sometimes brings pretty good money. Now, next two cards I bought raw on eBay. Very excited. Um, the first one come back, and this is a cool 90s card, right? One of the cooler inserts of the 90s, established. Um, Coward Pin Jr., so it came back a 9. And you can see it's numbered right there. Uh, numbered 73, I believe, of 99. So, yep. It's hard to see the way they do that little number thing. But 73, of sorry, 100. 
But these are just awesome looking cards and they have the back that's even more awesome. You get that just super shiny back, that super shiny front. One of the best looking uh, card sets ever made in the 90s. So I got the Cal Ripken to go along with my Frank Thomas, which I just got graded recently as well. Um, next up is from the same set, the Mike Piazza. Came back in eight, which I'm, I'm okay with because again, these cards scratch, they're super shiny and, and you know, early foil type or chrome type cards are very difficult. But again, you can see there's just nothing on the corners. The edge looks really clean. So it might be a little bit of wear. That's a little fuzzy on the card uh, or the holder. So, I mean, it might have a scratch or something. You know, PSA is very, very challenging right now on grades. And I'm not going to complain too much because I've got some good grades as well. So it's, it's again, the mixed bag of grading. So, but it's pretty cool to have my third established now. So I got Frank Thomas, Ripken, and Piazza all graded. Um, and two eighths and a, and a nine. All right, we'll put that card aside because it's a hockey card for now. Um, next up is, I pulled this on EPAC. It is a green PMG, so they're numbered to 10. It is an X-Men, it's Beast. So, you know, it's not the greatest character, but at least it's an X-Men. It's a green, and it's numbered 7 of 10. Came back a 7, just tough cards to grade. So, I'm not too, I'm not too disappointed. It's just cool, though. I mean, um, green PMGs are just, you know, great to have. And I'm glad it's graded so I don't have to um, worry about someone, you know, buying a chargeback because it's got a little chipping on it because they all have a little chipping. That's why it's a seven. All right. Let's see if I can find another non-hockey card here. Um, there is. Um, oh. So this is a card that is very interesting from, from my perspective because... It came out of a CSA, which is one of the defunct grading companies that was around, um, I think even before GAI. Um, it was CSA, and this was in a CSA 10 holder. It came back a PSA 9. And now, I already owned this card in a PSA 9, so this is a double. So, the reason why I bought it was because it sold so cheap, because it was in that kind of crazy CSA holder. Um, the blue one, for anyone who knows CSA, the ugliest holder ever created, which basically killed the brand because the holder was just so damn ugly. Um, this um, card did grade well, though, PSA 9. And again, this is numbered 10 of 250. So, you know, I'm 10 away from the, uh, the serial number, right? A uh, beautiful card, and this is one of my favorite card sets. And again, I have the uh, purple right next, you know, right here. So if I can ever get the red, which I know that's an impossibility, um, but it would be very fun to have a whole rainbow. But I have two of the three, and two of the three ain't bad. But there is the Barry Sanders Crusade. So let's see if I got anything else here that's not hockey. Um, I don't think so, actually. I think everything else is hockey. So if you're not into hockey, uh, this is a time for you to tune out. So, but here we go. Uh, these are some pretty awesome cards. If you're into hockey, you're just like seeing cool cards. First up is a Jack Hughes um, Retro Blue Rainbow from 19 OPG Platinum. Numbered out of 149. Came back a Gem Mint 10. So this card um, is probably a couple hundred bucks at the minimum. And you can see the refractory blue finish there or blue color um just a really cool card and i'm glad i graded it it was one of those cards where uh you know when i was going through my pile cards to grade i didn't know if i should throw it in or not but i'm really glad i did because it came back at 10 and it's a good card that i can either ebay or tr use it for trade bait we'll go through these cards and, and sort of order these are all from upper e deck epac these are the uh, silver young gun, so you needed five young guns on EPAC to convert to a silver. The first up is uh, Alexis Lafrenet, uh, and they came back a PSA 10. You can see that silver foil. So they're much more rare to get than the regular young guns. So it's kind of a cool parallel. 
uh, PSA 10. And um, the EPAC cards do, do grade well because the next one up is a Jason Robertson. Again, silver foil young guns, PSA 10. Super stoked on that card. Um, next up is a 19 OPG Platinum. Same year as the Hughes. And this is a Seismic Gold uh, uh, Alexei Ovechkin. Or Alexander, sorry, Ovechkin. And these are numbered out of 50. So this is 28 of 50. Um, so that is very cool. Um, and these are just beautiful. Again, the Platinum set every year that comes out, it gains more and more steam. It's basically the hockey version of Prism or Topps Chrome. It is uh, one of the sets that now people are dying for every year. And it comes out on EPAC. And again, this is a EPAC opening. So it came back at PSA 9. Great card. Next up is from 21 Metal Universe, the Platinum Portraits, Connor McDavid. And these are very difficult to eat, to pull. Uh, it came back at Mint 9, which is a great grade. Uh, super stoked about that. A lot of the fact that it's the old school design. Um, just really nice card. I came back at nine. Just very, very happy. And a, a huge McDavid fan. I don't know what this would bring. Um, but I do think it's one of those ones that um, now it's graded a nine. Uh, and there's no question on it because these cards are very condition sensitive. Uh, next up is another... Connor McDavid card. So this is from 21 Metal as well. This is the red PMG. And it came back a 7. So this might be a card that I might actually think about sending to SGC. I am seriously considering um, sending my Kyography Griffey um, in this card to SGC because I know it's got a little bit of white tip there and a little bit I think a little bit of white on that one edge there, but it's not that bad of a card. I mean, it's just, I don't see it just horribly chipped or missing anything. I mean, it's a little white there. So again, would this card grade an eight in SGC? I think it might. So I don't know. I'll have to see. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sold on it yet, but I don't think this card technically grades a seven. But again, I talked about it like you win some, you lose some. And this is card number 23 of 100. So it's the Jordan of <laughs> card numbers there. So still a very cool card, though. Uh, next up is a 19 upper deck. You got Kale McCarr, base Young Guns, PSA 10. I'll take that all day long. Love it. I still have another raw Young Guns um, of McCarr. So now I've got two McCars. Uh, one raw and one ten, and yeah, love it. It's not a rare card, but it still sells pretty well. Next up is a twenty twenty Young Guns, Ilya Sorokin, um, Jim Mint ten, silver Young Guns. So again, back to the silvers. So really enjoy the the silver cards. I, I one of those crazy people who do um, take their Young Guns and convert them to silvers or speckled if I ever can get that. Um, I got it with Elias Peterson. I do have the speckled one of it. So just a cool card. Uh, next up is 19 of Peachy Platinum. Again, the Platinum set is beautiful. This is the Violet Pixels. Uh, Kale McCarr. It's not as uh, short print as the Jack Hughes Blue, but this is $3.99. But it does look amazing and it's again very similar to the circle cards or speckled cards from panini um this is spot pickles pickles violet pixels integrated in i so it's that's a good enough grade and again mccarr isn't quite as high as he was last year with him winning the cup but he's still a great player um and i think it's still worth uh, getting integrated and last but not least um I, player that uh, I was hoping to be in the finals this year, but he is not. It's Jake Ottinger. So they got beat in the semifinals um, by Vegas. So not um, the outcome, you know, that would have made this card, you know, even more expensive, but he's a great goalie. 
Uh, it's a PSA 10, so it's a silver. And these are condition sensitive and hard to get. So it's still a pretty cool card. Um, there it is. That is my order. And I've got one more order to go. Um, but again, this order was really, um, you know, the, the card, the big card for me was getting that card graded, uh, into a PSA 10 holder. That was the, um, oop, that was the, um, biggest part of my grading journey this time around. But again, there was some really fun cards. You know, I got the established cards graded. Um, you know, that was, you know, fun. Um, and again, you know, there was, you know, PNG here. There was um, that 98 uh, Elite card. Really cool. Uh, I cool. Um, there was some cool Connor McDavid cards here. You've got, you know, the Platinum Portrait. You've got the Red PMG. Um, and then you got a lot of, you know, base, you know, young guns and rookies. So there you go, guys. That is my... Mail day from PSA number three or four. Number four hasn't popped yet. Uh, I don't know what those grades are. Hoping it pops this week. And when it does, I'll share with you guys the grades on Instagram. And then uh, I'll do a mail day when they arrive. And we'll see what those are. That mail day has a lot of Griffies in it. So if you're really looking forward to some Griffy cards, that next mail day is your ticket. Um, and then I'm I'm preparing a vintage mail day or vintage order for PSA pretty soon as well. So. More stuff happening. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you next time on Cards and Comics. Bye.